Would you like to help your family get prepared for emergencies and disasters? It's as simple as getting a kit, making a plan, and being informed. Are you ready? Outdoor warning sirens. I've heard them before, but I didn't know what to do. I just learned about them from my human friends. It means there's danger. Let's head inside and find out what's going on. Now that we're safe inside, I can tell you all about the sirens. I asked my friend Bill Hughes with Ramsey County Emergency Management, and he told me all about them. Hi, get ready, Gopher. What are those sirens, and why do they sound? A lot of people call these things tornado sirens, and that's really not a proper term for them. We prefer to call them outdoor warning sirens. Why are they called outdoor warning sirens? The sirens are used for many, many purposes, and they're used primarily as an outdoor warning system to alert people who are outdoors about a danger. So how are people inside supposed to know about an emergency? Well, get ready to go for people who are indoors have many ways of getting information about emergencies. Probably the, the most effective is the NOAA weather radio, that's N-O-A-A -A, weather radio, which uh, can be programmed so that it only goes off for the county that you live in. Radio, television use a system called EAS, the Emergency Alert System, as a way of moving these warnings across TV and radio. And of course, don't forget that your mobile phone may be a source of weather information too. You can subscribe to services that will provide uh, emergency emails or text messages based on warnings for your home or your business. Uh, you can also get apps for your smartphone that will warn you for the area that you're in. When do the sirens sound and who turns them on? The sirens are sounded once a month at one o'clock on the first Wednesday of the month for testing. And we do that every month of the year with some exceptions because of weather. My friend Scott Williams over at the Emergency Communications Center where they actually turn the sirens on to explain how and when they sound the sirens. Why do the sirens sound? Sirens are an attention getting device. They're, they're there to get your attention and to tell you that there's some important information that you need. It might not even be a severe weather event. It could be a release of toxic chemicals, in which case taking shelter in your basement, or in your case, down in your gopher hole, would be the worst thing that you want to do. Uh, but typically we sound the sirens for severe weather events. Uh, and that would include tornado warnings or very severe thunderstorms where the uh, winds are in excess of 75 miles per hour. Do you control the sirens for the entire county? Yes, we set the sirens off for the entire county. It's all one zone. No, no, no. Uh, City of St. Paul and the, all the suburban sirens are all set off from the Ramsey County 911 Center. Will the sirens sound in all clear? No, we don't sound in all clear. Uh, it's very important when you hear the sirens going off that, uh, that you tune into TV or radio or even better a, a weather radio and, uh, and get information real time as to what's happening uh, with the storm. We will not sound an all clear. If this fact if the sirens sound a second time it's because somebody has determined that a second warning is required because there's a second tornado or a, another uh, severe thunderstorm cell has formed. Bill told me that we are supposed to go to the nearest safe building for shelter and then turn on a source of information like the TV to find out what is going on and what else to do. If it's a severe storm, we might have to go to our storm shelter or basement. But if it's a different danger, we might have to take different steps to protect ourselves. Emergency officials will tell us how to stay safe in their emergency messages.
understand what the sirens are for and what I should do when I hear them to keep myself safe. I also see how important it is to have a NOAA All Hazards Radio as my warning method for inside my home. Siren Sound for Severe Weather and Other Hazards Emergency sirens are intended to warn persons outdoors only. When sirens sound, go indoors and turn on a trusted source of information to find out what to do to stay safe. There is no all-clear siren. NOAA All Hazards Radios are the best source of emergency warning for people indoors. Music